Okay, so this is Class Dojo. So I'm currently on my parent account. So I'm looking at my, what you're looking at right now is a parent account. So it'd be similar to one you may see when you're at home. Um, this is useful for me and probably for any other staff watching this, just so we, we get an idea of what you guys see when you're looking at your Class Dojo. Okay, so first things first, your parent account basically gives you access to the work that's being set in your child's class and anything that's posted on the home school, whole school story. You've got your messages as well. And this is where you're going to need to get access to your child's account. So you should have, and if you haven't, um, this is something to talk to your teachers about, is a invite so your child can get logged in at home. What that'll do when I click on it is it's kind of like your own uh, password um, to get into your uh, your child's account. So there's a few options here. You've got a QR code scanner there, and you've got a um, a, a link to take you to a desktop account. So I'm going to try and set this up on my app because I know a lot of you will be using this on an app and maybe looking at me and saying why I'm, I don't do this on a, on a desktop so I need to need to be able to see how you do it on the app. So I will turn my webcam on and hopefully give you some idea of what to do there. So on the screen you'll see that I've got that QR code. So if I go on my phone over there and click on the bubble up here just up here and click on add code from school I know you can't see it very well so I'm having to describe it add code from school um, oh sorry log it log into another account I should say then click I'm a student and it says find your QR code and scan it so I'm going to scan my QR code on the screen and that's giving me access to my child's account on my phone. Um, I now have that child saved in the bubble at the top. So um, just quickly, access to portfolios by your child's account is there. As you can see, I've got no activities at the moment, but if I click on the little uh, blue cross, then I can add photos, videos, drawings, or journals. Where I think there might be some confusion is I think they do bombard us with different ways of logging in. So when I tried it just a minute ago, there was pass it was offering me passwords and, and login codes and all sorts. The best way to do it is really just to scan the barcode there. Um, it, it's completely, um, that one of the questions that I get is, is it completely uh, visible to not visible to other parents? As long as the teacher has sent login instructions for home and not for school, yes, it is. So that's the case. Um, to log into my desktop, I've got this link over here. I don't think you need my lovely face there. Right, so I click on this link. And that takes me to my child's account, little Luke. Um, here I've got my portfolios. Again, there's no work in there yet, but if I did want to add a photo, a video, or a drawing, or anything like that, I could go on there and do that. Um, I could do that from there as well. And your child also has access to all the other things. They can see all the work that you have got set there. Okay. So it's essentially, it's the difference between having two accounts. Um, your parent account and your child's account. In order to use portfolios, you need to get your child's account set up and we will do our best to, to help you with that. A few things. Um, ClassDojo is, is a free service. It's run by very, very few people. There's hardly anyone, you know, it's a, it's a group of about four or five people that set this up and they're doing it for free because they're former teachers. And as you can imagine, they are um, a little bit inundated right now. Um, with all the different people that are trying to log in and parents and all this remote learning that's going on. 
So you can imagine how um, how much of a challenge it is for them at the moment. And they've added loads and loads of stuff. So a couple of words of advice would be make sure your app is up to date because they've updated quite a lot of stuff. If your phone's not automatically updating your apps, that's something that you need to maybe think about. Um, there will be some compatibility issues with different devices. Some things that will work really well on one, uh, on, an, on Android, might not work as well on, on an iPad. And I'm going to come to how you can try and solve some of those problems as well yourself. Um, the other things are, I just recently just did a web webinar uh, on Class Dojo, and again, they're, they're talking about all the updates that they're putting in place. They did mention a couple of things that I think might be really useful. First of all, the help desk. So if you click on the little question mark here, you've got a parent help desk there and email support. Um, a lot of the teachers that are working with Class Dojo at the moment at Kings Road, it's 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 been in place for about a year. So there's 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 a lot of learning that we're doing at the same time, and we, and we accept that, and we don't always have all the answers, but. A lot of your answers could be found on on the help desk. I know that's how I uh, found out a lot of the stuff that I've done today. Or email support, but just bear in mind, obviously, they're extremely busy at the moment with the number of schools that are currently relying on Class Dojo for their remote learning needs. The other one is they do have a Facebook community. Now, I've not um, they, I, they showed it in the webinar. And what will be useful with that is if you are having any trouble that yourself or your class teacher and you've tried lots of different avenues, you know, the more heads, the better with this one, because they will be able to, you'll be able to put some problems you might be having on there and you'll get lots and lots of people who can give you feedback on that. Um, that's it. So I hope that is helpful in some way on how to use Class Dojo. I really do. And don't feel like you can't message us and can't contact us if you are struggling with it. Um, we, will, we will try our best. Okay, thank you.